Hi, and welcome to the Latvian alphabet part 2. Today we'll go over the next 11 letters of the alphabet. Are you ready? Let's pick up where we left off. Then we have ha like helicopters or Hyseus, which means a helicopter and a shark. According to the global firepower ranking, the Latvian army with our six helicopter is not exactly a Hyseus in the military game. In fact, we rank number 105 out of 137 countries that they have compared. So if you've got some spare helicopter lying around, please send us some, we'll be grateful. Next up we have i found in words like internets, which means the internet, and isbrins. Isbrins means surprise, and you might be surprised to find out that despite our lack of helicopter, Latvia has the 13th fastest internet out of 50 countries compared on fastmetrics.com. With an average speed of 28.63 megabits per second, we beat some countries like France, UK, USA, Russia, and some others. Then the elongated brother of E, E. So you can see the letter E in words like East, which means real, E Pashiba, which means a characteristic, and Edet, which means to complain. To give you an example, an Ipashiba of an East Latvian is that we like to eat it, but not too much. According to countryeconomy.com, the happiness index in Latvia has grown from 5.05 in 2013 to 5.94 in 2019, which means that while we are still more unhappy than people in France, the United Arab Emirates and Scandinavians, for example, we apparently have less reason to eat it than some of our neighbors, like Estonians and Russians. Moving on, we go to ye, which is found in a word like jura, and no, it is not pronounced jura. With 498 kilometers of coastline, jura, or the sea, is very important to the Latvian people. During the Middle Ages, it was ravaged by the Vikings, and in the late Middle Ages, large trade routes were established, making Riga, Ventspils, and Liepāja very important trade cities. The jura has always been and continues to be very profitable. It was one of the reasons why Latvia was sucked up into the Soviet Union and nowadays tourists from all around the world come to Latvia to enjoy our Jura. For example, you can do so in Jurmala or Seaside City, which you should definitely visit when you come here. Next up we have Ka, found in words like Krievia, which means Russia. Yeah, in Latvia we like to come up with our own names for countries and we did not stop at Krievia. So for example, we call Estonia Igaunia, Sweden is Zviedria, Belarusia is Baltkrievia, Vācija means Germany and Croatia is Horvātija. Then we have Tje, the soft brother of Ka, found in words like Tams, which is a mythical creature in Latvian literature that is also sometimes used as a light insult. Saying that you are a Tams or that you should stop Tamuatis means that what you're doing makes you look not only silly but also ugly. Up next we have L found in words like Latvia, Liels, which means big, and Lachplēsis, who is our national hero. Lachplēsis is another Salikthenis, this time made from the word Lācis, which means a bear, and Plēst, which means to rip something or to rip something apart. Therefore, a direct translation of Large places would be bear ripper or bear slayer. Large places protected Latvia from German crusaders. He is very leal, very strong, and he got his name because he literally rips bears apart by the jaw with his hands. So if you are a leal Slatsis or a foreign invader, you better steer clear of Latvia and large places. Then we have the soft version of L, which is L, and which many of my foreign students have great difficulty pronouncing. L is found in words like ļoti, which means very, ļauns, which means evil, and lepatot, which means to walk, run, or skip in a funny, clumsy, or awkward-looking manner. So, for example, if you see a ļoti ļauns person, you better lepatot away. Mm, up next we have the letter M. M is found in words like mix, which means soft, and is used in many Salikteni to designate somebody who is a coward. For example, in combination with miesa, flesh, you get mixed miesis, which is a snail or a coward. Also in combination with chaula, which is a shell, you get mix chaulis, again a coward. And also you can combine it with the word pada, which means a foot, to get mixed pedinch, again the same meaning. But if you want to keep it simple, just use mixtais, which means the soft one, which basically has the same meaning as all the other ones. Then we have N found in NATO 
our best friend. But also in words like now that which means money, now deeks somebody who has money and now the smice. Literally a sack of nauda, but also a rich person that is trying or succeeding in influencing Latvian politics. Following N, we have, you guessed it, its soft brother Eñ. Latvian cats say nyau, but Eñ is also found in words like nudzeklis, which means a chaotic bunch of alive and mobile organisms. Like for example, there is always a nudzeklis of people in the Riga Central Market. Or you can also have a new deck list of thoughts, especially when trying to learn Latvian grammar. But my favorite word with N is NYUM, which is something that you say, like YUM, before you bite a big frikadelle.